Hi guys, so this is the beginning. <laughs> I gotta plug in the airplane. Uh, we gotta get it ready to fly. So what's happening is I'm over here, gonna plug it in in the morning, and if things work out at five o'clock today, I'll get my first lesson. Uh, Toby is his name that's gonna train me. He's even agreed to let us put him on video for some of this. So uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know. Hopefully weather holds and I'll get to fly about five o'clock for the first lesson. I did put a GoPro mount in the airplane. Uh, so in theory, we'll have some good video and uh, I'm pretty excited about this guy. So wish me luck and I will talk to you later. And it's a carburetor engine, and if you ram it in there, 
it's possible you'll kill it. Okay. That is right at 50 miles an hour. Yeah, so, you know, just set this up like you think you're going to land, maybe 60. Maybe 60? Alright. Yeah, 60 with uh, power is fine. Just put the nose down. Okay. okay. 60. Yeah, and then just that's what it looks like. Let's just slowly ease the power out and keep the nose up and see if we can get it to stall that way. Just by keeping the nose up. Without even the power out and try to keep the nose level. There you go. That's super docile, so it's just full power, cover like normal. I need full power all the way in and then carpet off. Okay. Um, just because, I don't know, it's just a habit, do one than the other. Yeah, that's a really kind of gentle, clean break. I like that. Yeah, that was, and I didn't feel a flutter, but it felt really sloppy, I guess is the best way I would describe it. Yeah, and that's like, you know, ground handling. You know, you want to be slow, but you want to, don't want to be slow enough that it's super sloppy, especially if it's windy. Do you mind if I do it again? Of course, go for it. Set up at 60. I'm going to start, I got the car heat on, I'm going to start going down for... Keep waiting for a horn that isn't there. Alright. Wow, that's nothing. Our heat is off, or it's cold. Yep. Turn it back out a little bit. The throttle takes some getting used to on the side there and the yeah. throttle. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to try and get it back to six. Turn. I mean, a helicopter has a collective, so I don't know if that's similar at all, but yeah, I wanted to fly stick and rudder just because I, I had the steer would be closer to what I'm used to, but you're right. But oh, I'm so happy with our buy, man. I'm going to continue around a little bit, get the sun out of my face. Yeah, do it. Yeah, just do a few more stars. Or have a, okay. Like, I'm for with them. Let's try some steep turns, too, just so you get a feel for your airplane. Steep turns at full speed? Yeah, like 45 degrees. Okay. So it stalls at about 40, or 45. Oh, right. I'm going to... Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't have one, but I'm like, I'm going to bank this at, I'm going to look outside and figure it out. Yeah, just bank outside, you don't want to. <laughs> I probably want to be doing a little faster for you. And I'd say like 70. Okay. Six echo, go to the right. Wow, that's a lot of, a lot of pedal. We're going to lose some altitude unless you pick the nose up. Oh, wow. That's a lot of altitude. Yeah, and I can just, I don't, I've never flown one of these back seat either, I could just call the three, three, four, delta yeah. contact. I think the prop wind up. Turn out, can I? Yeah, that's how I found, I, I see how your prop wind up, I was like, oh man, we're picking up speed. Okay. So just think of that, if you need your prop wind up, you're going to lose altitude. Okay. Anyway, I mean, I'm not really trying to make them perfect today, I just want you to get a feel for like how it bangs, pattern and whatnot, so. Let's do another, try to do another one to the left or right, your choice. And you said do one to the right? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's do one to the right. Uh, set up at 70, trying to bring my altitude. Yeah, okay. And you might have, you know, clear right. Add a little power. There we go. This feels better. Your nose up a little. Oh. It feels better, except I feel behind on trim like crazy. I mean, that's pretty normal, right, because you're... A lot of guys actually do a little bit of nose up trim in their steep turn. A bunch of speed. 
Fairbanks 8 is to Lima now, current wind 1803, altimeter 2991, verify runway 20 right or 20 left. That's uh, Lima 2991 and we would like to do 20 right. Fabria 76 Tango, entry the left downwind runway 20 right. Fairbanks Tower, good evening. Enter uh, correction. Only two zero right and clear for the option. After the option, make right traffic.
75 in the uh, downwind, downwind. Okay. and 65 on base, and you can take it to 60, and then right as you get in under short final, 55, and I mean, you get about six feet off the ground, you're just going to probably have to add a little power, and I just want you to fly down the runway without touching, keep it straight, get over the center line. Okay. And try to, there's a two mile runway, just try to aim out to get off the ground, um, straight all the way down the runway. And I, I suck on the radios today. Uh -huh. so I'm just annoyed at myself for being castrated in this airplane with one radio. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, you're probably used to having a first off. It, or I don't know what they call it in the Army, but there's two people flying that thing, right? Yeah. Crazy. So, like, it's a turbo shaft, like twin turbo shafts, right? Each, each rotor has its own engine. Uh, no, uh, they, they go into combining transmission and turns, both engines turn both rotors. Whoa, that's wild, man. Yeah, there's five transmissions on it. I got a combining 290 degrees on the engines and then a forward and an aft. So huge, huge turbo shaft engines that turn both rotors at about 5,000 RPM, or 5,000 horsepower each. Serving 640, this mic current altimeter 2992. And the collective, uh, I'm assuming just fix up, like, pay for them the same amount. Yeah, well, it moves them collectively. But the Chinook has a thrust uh, due to differential collective pitch. They're, they're strange animals. Are there any civilians in Chinooks? What's that? Any civilians flying? Yeah, Columbia and uh, Tulsa had a beautiful night to be out here. Yeah, and I think that by the time we get down to where you're landing, you maybe that the sun will be behind the hills and not letting your face, but we'll see. Okay. Recovery 76 Tango, uh, would you be willing to accept options to runway 20 left to allow snow removal vehicles to operate on runway 20 right? Yeah, we can do that. Number 76 Tango, Roger, appreciate that. Change to runway 20 left. Runway 20 left, clear for the option. After the option, make left traffic. Copy that, 5176 Tango, clear for the option. 20 left, remain left traffic after the option. Pretty good distance. Do I want to use the trade between the arm here? Or? Uh, yeah, about the midpoint is good, you know. Um, the main thing is, like, right now, this is a pretty good glider. You'd probably make it to the runway if your engine off, but, like, you always want to be within glide distance as best you can. But, like, when you're out here on your base to finally, you probably won't be. You know, when you can. Looking for 45. And the 172s and stuff. Yeah. Before that, there. Nothing to do in it. Turn the car beat on. Start slowing down. Got yeah, your landers on? Okay. I'm going to turn your landers on. Thank you. Clear left. <laughs> I'm looking up at the RPM and I'm like, it's below a thousand. Yeah, I would do it. Well, if you can, you don't want to, you got to keep your speed under control. But it's winter time. You don't want to go super low power. Okay. Just because it, it cools everything down. 